Sister Mary, please go ahead. Is Sister Mary in the house? Good morning, everyone. Okay, good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, morning, morning. Good afternoon, morning. Good <laughs> right, morning over there. Operation, show yourself, please. Uh, whew, yeah, Amen. by God's grace. Amen. 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 I will just start with um, my prayer points are all over the I will start with um, just asking God for grace and the Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Um, get into your way, my Heavenly Father, not by might, not by strength, but by your Spirit, Heavenly Father. These are your people, my Heavenly Father. My lips are just your oracle, my Heavenly Father. Speak to your children, speak to your servants, Heavenly Father. Speak to us, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Like all of us here, Heavenly Father, are just but servants. Heavenly Father, availing ourselves to be used of my God. And so I humble myself before my pastors, before my apostles, before the teachers before everyone that is here my brothers and my sisters and above all yes, heavenly father ask that you lead me by the holy spirit in jesus mighty name amen in jesus amen amen and amen i'm going to start with point three emergence of the davids and the david armies in the nations we're praying for the nations of south america the amalekites were described as a collection of tribes who were basically relentless enemies of Israel. What kinds of Davids are we looking for? I just focused on first summer when David was fighting the Amalekites. And one of the things about David is that he sought his strength from the Lord. Amen. He sought strength from the Lord. Hallelujah. So first summer, Chapter 30, starting from verse, verse 6. David was now in serious trouble because his men were very bitter about losing their wives and children, and they began to talk of stoning him. But David found in the Lord his God. When we pray for people that are in leadership position, they will have challenges. And the problem normally comes when a human being in a position of power corrupt. A human being being placed in a position of authority to run the affairs of other people at a stroke of a pen or at a, just to speak a word, press a button, can change the trajectory, the path of that nation. But we are hearing here that David when he was faced with challenges, where the people that he was supposed to lead looked up to him and had, they had problems and issues and blamed and even wanted to stone, David inquired from the Lord, found strength in the Lord. That is what verse 7 continues to say. Then he said to Abiathar the priest, bring me the effort. So Abiathar brought it. Then David asked the Lord, should I chase them? Will I catch them? To inquire of the Lord and to find strength in the Lord is a quality. Those are qualities that, you know, the Davidic quality. So let us pray. Those whom are called to the nations of South America and the nations of the world, that when they're placed in those positions, that they will not rely on their own understanding and wisdom and whatever personal attributes, but that they will find their strength in the Lord and always inquire of the Lord. Let us pray. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. 
Bless us, sit a collaborate and we are praying, Heavenly Father, that when there are those in our nations, those in the nations of South America who are called, Heavenly Father, to see oversee the affairs of their nation in the name of Jesus Christ, that they will not be given to their own personal understanding, but that they will require and inquire of the Lord, but that also they will find their strength in the Lord and not on themselves. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, so we pray for the Davis of the South America, my God. Let it be that those that will be in the position, whether they are voted in those positions, whether they are school teachers, whether they are fathers in their house, whether they are pastors and apostles and evangelists, protesters, everyone that you have sent and placed in leadership positions, Father, we pray for the heart of the Lord and to find strength in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's look again on verse 18 to 20 of the same um, chapter 30 of First Samuel. Am I audible enough? Yes, yes. Thank you. Now here, David got back everything as they were fighting with the Amalekites. David got back everything that the Amalekites had taken and he rescued his two wives. Nothing was missing, small or great, son or daughter, nor anything else that had been taken. David brought everything back. His troops rounded up all the flocks and heads and drove them out ahead. This all belonged to David as his reward, they said. This is David's spoil. This is David's spoil. Let us pray for the leaders who will be good stewards of the nations, not given to bribery or even to uh, corruption. Leaders like David who will protect the wealth of their nations and its people and its resources in the name of Jesus Christ. David had a heart when he found that his people were ransacked the way they did. He was bold in his leadership. He was bold in fighting and bringing back, not scattering in the name of Jesus Christ, not scattering. Amen. So we are praying for leaders that will be good stewards of the wealth of their nations, of the people of their nations in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Hard Jesus Christ, we are praying, Heavenly Father, that in South Africa, we will have, in South America, we will have leaders, Heavenly Father, who will be good stewards of their nations, not given to bribery. In the name of Jesus Christ. But those who will protect the wealth of their nations and of their people and the resources in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be that Heavenly Father that will bring the spoil of their nation and not scatter. In the name of Jesus Christ, leaders that will have a heart for the minerals, for what God has placed as wealth in their nations and protect in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's go to verse 21 to 25. Hmm. When they reached Besor Brook and met the 200 men who had been too tired to go with them, David greeted them joyfully. But some troublemakers among David's men said, they didn't go with us, so they can't have any of the plunder. Mm -hmm. Give them their wives and children and tell them to be gone. But David said, no, my brothers, don't be selfish with that the Lord has given us. He has kept us safe and helped us defeat the enemy. Do you think anyone will listen to you alike, those who go to battle? Do you think anyone will listen to you when you talk like this? We share and share alike, those who go to battle and those who guard the equipment. From then on, David made this law for all Israel, and it is still followed. The law of justice, fairness. Let us pray. David was a kind who would bring reconciliation, who would not look others and said, because you have done this, you are better off. Who would not be taken by 
who has got position or who has got power. He made the law. Everyone would be treated equally. So let us pray for the kinds of Davids in South America that will bring reconciliation, that will not divide their nation but, or tear them apart, but build them and create that sense of unity amongst them. A brother's keeper, taking care of one another. Mm. So that let's just pray for those kind of Davids, the reconciliatory kind of leadership, the yes, building Lord. kind of a heart. In Jesus' mighty name, let's pray. Imanda Father, Sopata, in the name of Sundo Jesus Mantis. Christ. Zondo we pray, Heavenly Father, for the armies of David in the name of Jesus. We have the reconciliatory spirit as we lead the people of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of leader who will not divide and that will bring people together in the name of Jesus Christ. And where justice will prevail, where people will not be treated based on what they have or what they have not. Based on what they did, what they deserve, and a reconciliation of the United Nations because they look up to the leader, they bring the nation together in the name of the Lord. Men and women that are nations that are in the mighty name of Jesus. Name brother, name sister, 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 name Le Bradinan Zendo Proto no Zendine Prata, Umbando Sumbrinata, Zundine Katazi, Mandiga de Bodocoto ne Badu Zentrash, Lembrando Zo, Koto Pandinagedina Pandasia, Larindo Mopondo, Suna Atasia, Duncan de Pratazi endo, Julege de Banacante Prenazientro, Bodu Zedine Gadabadian Trash, Le Bradinan Campondo Zetanazia. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 I'm going to go to this other point, and I'll trust God because I didn't listen to the first part that uh, uh, Pastor would have uh, covered the other things if time is against us. The next prayer point I want to go to is understand and engage for people. We pray for people of South America to understand and engage with God's purposes and plans. Major religion in South America is Christianity about 91.9%. However, less than 50% are not even devout Christians. That being like Roman Catholicism, Islam is one of them and Judaism, but the majority being Christian. However, as I said, are not necessarily devout Christians who know and have an experienced personal relationship with God. Now we are praying about understanding and engaging with God's purposes and plans. What is it that is pleasing? unto God. When we read in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 to 5, it continues to say, after praying for those that are in leadership, for this is good and pleasing in the sight of God and our Savior, who wants everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. For there is one God and there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all the testimony that was given at just the right time. Many people know, have a kind of intellectual understanding of Christianity, but not necessarily the personal experience and an encounter and a relationship with God. This is what we are praying for the people of South America, having grown mm -hmm. bred into, uh, born into a Catholic family, I know the pain of waking up every morning and committing to something that is not of substance, holding on to objects, bowing and kneeling, bowing and kneeling, not having a personal relationship with God. So let us pray. I know that people that are Catholics are very committed. They wake up in the morning, they go to church, but they are holding on to objects no personal experience and encounter and relationship with God, albeit their commitment to all the rituals. So let us pray for people in South America that they will come to the knowledge of God, accept him as the only true God, the only Christ as mediator between God and man, that he's only one who died. 
for all mankind and that they will seek him, desire him, accept him so that they can experience him. Let's pray. Father, in the mm. name of Jesus Thank you, Christ. Jesus. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Amen. 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 Now, considering, understanding, and engaging with God's purposes and plans. Now, I'm looking at those to whom much is given, those to whom the task of preaching the message of God, the message is to them, to us. Let's look at Philippians chapter 3. And Paul talks about how he commends Timothy. We're looking and pray for the proven character like of Timothy in the name of Jesus Christ. First Philippians chapter two from verse 20. I have no one else like Timothy who genuinely cares about your welfare. All the others care only for themselves and do not, and not for what matters to Jesus Christ. Mm. All the others care mm. only for themselves and not for what matters to Jesus Christ. But you know how Timothy has proved himself. Proven character matters. Proven character matters. Mm. Like a son with his father, mm. he has helped me in preaching the good news. Hallelujah. So we are praying for the kind of Timothy that will have you, character Jesus. that is proven, the kind of yes, sons Lord. that will have sat under the leadership of their spiritual fathers or whoever that will be mentoring and guiding them so that they do not just run as wild animals, full of zeal and no wisdom, no humility. So we are praying for the kind of Timothys that when they go out, Paul will speak with boldness and say that is my son timothy that i am sending out just like son god to the father just like son timothy to paul let us pray for the kind of young ones that will come that god will raise in the name of jesus christ to go to these nations where when they go their character will be proven and it will magnify and exalt who our god is bring the light to darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. So let us pray for the Hallelujah. 
Yes, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you the glory, Father. We give you the praise, my God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let us pray for those that will not trust in human effort. The priceless gain of knowing Christ. As we pray for those that will be sent out to preach the word of God in South America, those that are even in South America right now, tasked with the mission to lead the people to the knowledge of God. All once, watch out for those dogs. Some words I wish they were not in the word of God. Some words I just wish they were not in the Bible. But watch out for those dogs, those wicked men and their evil deeds. Those mutilators who say you must be circumcised to be saved. For we who worship God in the uh, who worship God in the spirit are the only ones who are truly circumcised. We put no confidence in human effort. Instead, we boast about what Christ Jesus has done for us. We boast not. We put no confidence in human effort. Let us pray for the kind of Timothys, for the kind of Pauls in the nations of South America who will put no effort, no trust, no confidence in human effort, not even in themselves, but put their trust in God. In the name of who will speak the truth of God, who will not twist the word of God and talk about circumcision of something else, whereas it's circumcision of the heart. Let us pray that even the leaders themselves their hearts will be circumcised, for God knows the hearts of men. They lay open and bare before him. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Sikataka balarabosa taka balarabasanda. Those that we have touched my heavenly Father, Yes, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, let the hearts of men, Father, be laid. Yes, they are bare before you, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, let our else. trust only be on you, O God. Let the trust, yes, of the men and women in South America only be in you, O Lord God. Yes, not in their own abilities, not in their own abilities, but let it be in you. Let the trust, O Lord God, of the church even be in you, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus. Aria Balara Raba Shio to Cobolo Rodo Bolo Rodo Dodo Bolo Rodo Sanda Aria Balara Dabasi Rataka Balara Dabasanda Balara Dabo Sanda Balara Dada Bolo Rodo Bosanda Kiende Bele de 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 Bolo Rodo Bosanda Balara Bosanda. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
We left with five minutes. When I got here, I had pastor was praying for the resources. Thank you, Lord. So I will leave that one out. I'll just finish with fear of God, godly governance, the wisdom and strength of godly governance. We hear that Solomon in the best book of Kings asked for wisdom from God. Lord, my God, now you have made me king instead of my father, David. I'm a little child who doesn't know his way around. Here I am among your chosen people, a nation ever so great, too numerous to count. Give me an understanding mind so that I can govern your people well and know the difference between right and wrong. For by him, for who by himself is able to govern this great nation? God was pleased and said, because you've asked for wisdom in governing my people and have not asked for a long life or riches for yourself or the death of your enemies, I will give you what you have asked for. And the Bible tells us God gave him even more, more than that, even wealth. So let us pray for godly governance, for leaders who will ask of wisdom of from the Lord. Hallelujah. understand that it's not just by their own understanding. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Heavenly Father, for the leaders, Heavenly Father, that they will seek your wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Jesus, Father, we pray right now that even the leaders of South America, the of God, will seek after your wisdom. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Father, we understand that without the fear of God, there will be no wisdom, there will be no godly governance. And so we pray that the leaders will have first and foremost the fear of God and that will escalate, that will create, that will have cause them to have wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Let's go to governance. I will speak of what is not godly governance. What is not godly governance? So we are going to pray, reading Ezekiel 22 to 26. Ezekiel 22, starting from 26. Your priests have violated my laws, defiled my holy things. To them, there is no difference between what is holy and what is not. And they do not teach my people the difference between what is ceremonially clean and unclean. They disregard my Sabbath day so that my holy name is greatly dishonored among them. Your leaders are like wolves who tear apart their victims. They actually destroy people's lives for profit. And your prophets announce false visions and speak false messages. They say, my message is from the sovereign law. When the law hasn't spoken a single word to them, they repair cracked walls with whitewash. Gone are the days of whitewash. For all the whitewash walls, I declare, we declare and decree every white wall wash that seeks to hide things that are not of God, be shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Just come crumbling down. We are going to be open and bare and honest ambassadors for the kingdom of God. Let us pray. Father, we pray for accountability. Father, we pray for integrity in the house of God. Father, we pray that we will be loyal to none but God. We pray for commitment that we will be given to God in all our intentions. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for Heavenly Father, that as your servants, we will not lead your people astray. In the name of Jesus Christ, that they will speak the truth and relenting in the name of Jesus Christ and compromising truth of God in the name of Jesus Christ, that we will not whitewash the truth of God in the name of Jesus Christ, that we will speak the truth and the boldness because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and it is the beginning of godly governance. Father, we thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Over to you, Pastor Light. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, hallelujah. Okay, amen. Amen. amen.